Okay, for 6b, we have sine and sine. Now the formula that we're gonna use for that involves taking x minus y, and so it's always better if you have the bigger uh, one first. Now in this case, I wanna switch the order around. This is exactly the same thing as sine eight theta, sine two theta. So I'm just gonna change that into uh, this. Now the reason why I switched the order there is because I want the x to be the larger one. When you have multiplication, order does not matter here in this case. So I can just switch those around and let x be the, the bigger one. And so the reason why I'm doing that uh, is because I'm using this formula, sine x, sine y. This is the product of some formula I'm gonna use. This is cosine of x minus y minus cosine of x plus y. So you notice that in the formula that we're gonna use here, we end up with an x minus y. So the reason why you wanna let the x be the larger one is because that way you can avoid uh, negative angles. Because then if you have negative angles, then you have to use the even odd properties. So if you don't wanna use that, you can avoid it by just letting x be the, the larger one for something like this when you're multiplying. So now we'll just put everything all into the formula. We have one half cosine of, okay, we have x minus y, so we're, gonna, we're using this one now. Uh, eight theta minus two theta. We have minus cosine x plus y. Eight theta plus two theta. Because we have thetas here, we don't have actual numbers. This time, for this particular problem, you're just gonna get an expression for the answer. So this problem in the test, you'll either get an exact value if you have actual angles in there that's given, or you might end up with a problem like this where all you can do is just simplify down as far as we can go. In this case, all we can really do there is just do eight theta minus two theta and make it six theta. And we have minus cosine of uh, eight plus two is a, a 10 theta. But you can't do any more with this. Now these are not considered like terms. So you have a six theta and a 10 theta you're not allowed to subtract those because you have to have exactly the same angles inside in order to treat those like uh, common factors. So this is actually as far as you need to go for 6b.